Grant Fisher has returned to his hometown and on the perfect day, homecoming. It feels really cool. Um, you know, this place will always be home to me and I, you know, I go around and I see all my, my familiar sites and the familiar roads that I used to run on and familiar teachers, you know, you know, everybody here I know. And uh, it feels really good to be home and feel the support of, of everyone. Local fans spent hours waiting for a chance to meet the Olympic medalist. I'm actually still waiting in the line. My dad just like saving a spot for us. While Fisher knew he had supporters here, he was still surprised by the sheer amount of supporters that he came home to. When I was over in Paris, you know, I was really focused on what I was doing and I don't think I realized how many people were rallying behind me. Fisher has quickly become a hero in his hometown and he's happy to be a motivating symbol for athletes, young and old. Just talking to people that say, you know, I, I'm not a runner, but I went out for a run after the Olympics or, you know, you made me want to be the best swimmer I could be or something like that. It, it goes a long way. The two-time bronze medalist still remembers what it was like as a child dreaming of going to the Olympics. And this is where I came from and this is where I built myself and this is where I, I dreamed my dreams of going to the Olympics. And now he hopes to remind others that they can dream to do the same. Anyone that's watching this know that you know, no dream is too crazy and, and it's not too late to, to make a change or to go for something and, and take a risk. Um, you know, the best day to work on yourself is today. I think that it's safe to say that Grant Fisher's homecoming has made Grant Blank's homecoming that much more special. With all the excited faces on kids and parents, it is clear that this town has a new inspiration. Reporting in Grand Blank, Deshaun Johnson, Mid-Michigan Now.